I'm the best there is at what I do, but what I do is daydream about having superpowers. I'm Rusty Ward and this is Science Friction, the show where fantasy meets reality. I break down the real science behind sci-fi and comic book superpowers and tell you how you can become superhuman, like Wolverine. It's not Wolverine's claws that make him the biggest badass of any comic book universe. It's the fact that no matter how bad of a beating he takes, he always gets back up again. An insurmountable will and a truckload of grit allow Wolverine to psychologically overcome any obstacle. But what allows him to walk around with a hole in his gut or a couple dozen katana blades sticking out of his back is his healing factor. Unfortunately, ordinary humans can't regrow limbs. Or can we? A lot of you have asked for the ability to heal like Wolverine or Deadpool. So in this episode, we're going to take a look at the power of regeneration. But before we get to the superhuman body, let's find out what the normal human body can do. Our bodies have evolved with one major purpose, to survive so we can reproduce. If you got your arm chopped off back in caveman days, that didn't affect your ability to pass on genes. In some cases, if a cave chick thought it was cool, it might even increase your chances. But if you bled to death on the cave floor, that definitely put a crimp in your libido. For this reason, regeneration took a back seat to things like stopping blood loss and killing infections. But our body does have some interesting regenerative abilities. Other than the skin, the liver is the only organ that will grow back if part of it is cut off. Children who have the tips of their fingers cut off will often see them grow back as long as it's not cut past the end of the fingernail. We lose this ability between the ages of 7 and 11. But mice never lose this ability. For this reason, Mayumi Ito of New York University decided to study what enabled mice to grow their toes back. What she discovered was that stem cells underneath the toenail and a family of proteins called the WNT signaling network control this regeneration. Her team was able to manipulate the WNT pathway to stimulate regeneration of bone and tissue beyond the end of the toenail. They believe that mastering the manipulation of the WNT pathway is the answer to full limb regeneration in mammals. The WNT pathway is a form of communication between cells. Another person that knows a lot about cell communication is Michael Levin. He's the director of the Tufts University Center for Regenerative and Developmental Biology. Levin also believes that the key to regeneration is in communication between cells. He's focused on electrical signals. One of the animals he worked with was the Xenopus tadpole. This tadpole could regrow its tail if it was cut off, if this happened in the first week of its life. After that first week, the tadpole lost that ability. He was able to surgically alter the way the tadpole cells communicated so that this regenerative ability returned in an older tadpole. A tadpole that shouldn't have been able to grow back its tail did. That was just the beginning. Since then, he's created flatworms with multiple heads, recorded an incredible visual display of how bioelectricity forms features in an embryo, instigated the growth of a working eye on the belly of a tadpole, and most incredibly, triggered the regrowth of an amputated frog's leg. Unlike the tadpoles that had that regenerative ability at one time, these frogs he worked with never had a regenerative ability, just like humans. Might I suggest that Mayumi and Michael get together? It doesn't have to be serious. You could just have a drink and see if you hit it off. Michael, you could say something like, the work you've done with mesenchymal cells is groundbreaking. And then maybe Mayumi says something like, is that a spectrophotometer in your pocket or are you just happy to see me? Then Michael, you say, why that is a spectrophotometer in my pocket, I thought we might go back to my place and do some research. I just think of these two compared notes, it would be for the benefit of all mankind. So together, doctors Ito and Levin are unlocking the science behind human regeneration. But once we can grow back an organ or a limb, it would still take months or even years. So how do we accelerate this process? That's where this guy comes in, the axolotl salamander. This guy is the Deadpool of the animal kingdom. They can regrow an entire limb in a matter of weeks. For a long time, it was believed that salamanders' regenerative abilities were based on the fact that their cells are closer to embryonic stem cells than they are to adult stem cells. Recent research has shown this to not be the case. The axolotl cells are very similar to adult stem cells. Their regenerative abilities comes from a specific cell set found in their immune response. 
Scientists are busy decoding exactly what those cell sets are and how they work. Once they do, we'll be able to take the next step and begin replicating this advanced healing ability in humans. And then I'll be unstoppable. I mean, medicine will be changed forever as we know it. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more episodes, and check out some of the previous episodes where I break down how to fly, turn invisible, and freeze time. And as always, let me know what superpower you want.